Yo, right, guys, it's Gameplay Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna be uh, heading on into uh, the cave in order to find some more stuff because we're doing like a bunch of like questing right now. Uh, we're, we're walking around as Cacnea, although I do think Cacnea fainted, yeah, because <clears throat> uh, we needed to use Cut. Basically, we had to send our Pokemon past the Clefairy into this forest, and we're talking to a whole bunch of Pokemon. A Butterfree that joined our team lost her, uh, her Cappy or something, so we're helping search for that. Um, we are also trying to find a burnt berry for a um, Pikachu, <clears throat> and we're also we also helped Charmander get home. And the Charizard parents are just there. They said that we should go down here to find some more Kuro shards that Zatu told us to get. So a whole bunch of craziness went on. You should definitely go check out the last episode. You push the button. You should definitely check out the last episode if you want to know what's going on. Really, uh, I can't really do a whole full rundown for you right now <clears throat> as my throat gives in. Jesus Christ. Okay, so. Let's see, there's been, been no wild Pokemon or anything, so... How do we get to this Pokeball? Huh? It's already been pushed? Okay. There's a hole. Hmm. This one removes that, but opens up a hole in the floor. Can I get this? Hey, here we go. Another Kuro shards. We need three of these, apparently. We have two so far. So I guess like we can fall into this hole. Let's see what is going on down here. Oh, we're back here. Okay, cool. Okay, so we got two Kuro shards. We need... We need more. And we also filled this up, so maybe we can access more areas now that the waters... come in. Like, up here, maybe? Ooh... Ooh, here we go. Can't go this way, so let's head this head to the right. Snarl. Looks like it's not in it looks like it's not in its right mind. I wonder what happened to it. Do you want to fight this Charizard? No. Hell no. And that's just where the wood is, right? I do not want to fight that Charizard. I will get destroyed. What the hell do we do? So we have two Kuro shards. We need three. I, I thought we need to give him. Do we need to give him the three Kuro shards? Is that what needs to be done? There's nothing else we can do down here, right? Is that another? Po Did I see another Pokemon down there? We need to find like a Chansey or something. Chansey, come heal us, please. Oh, here's the Cappy. Hey. Oh, thank you for finding my baby. I was so worried. Here is a Kuro Shard. Bam. Got it. So we have three Kuro Shards now. So do I just go Kuro? Kuro, Kuro, I don't know. Wait. Oh, it put us on one HP. Oh, why? Oh, so it just puts us back at the start. We have our Kuro Shards and stuff there, and we have our full HP, so that's fine. The music's gone there, which is kind of wild. Um, we have the three Shards, so I guess if we can just make it far enough. Only problem is that Cacnea is so frail. I always worry about my baby. I don't know what to do, or I would do if something awful happened to it. Hope one day I come as strong as you. This sucks, because we only have our Cacnea. If we bump into wild Pokemon, there's no guarantee that we can escape and we just get bodied by a gust. And this is perfect, because Yammer's fast AF. Never mind. It's really weird that the music's died. Okay. Let's get to this Charizard. Let me give him the Kuro Shards. I think that's what we have to do anyways. I'm hoping that's all we have to do. And then once we've done that, we can, uh, I mean, if we don't, if he doesn't accept them, oh, here we go. I can just give them to the Butterfree. Oh, uh, the Butterfree, the, the Zatu, the Zatu was talking to me, maybe he wants them. This is so irritating, we can't escape. And now we're dead. We're gonna, we're gonna consistently white out. So I'm gonna move up here real quick. All the music's died as well, which is really concerning. Um, okay, who else do we have in my team? I have Kenya. None of these guys can learn cut. It's so irritating. 
Unless Shroomish can. No, Shroomish can't learn cut. There's nothing I can do. Alright, so I guess what I'm gonna have to do real quick is level up this Kecnia. Like, there's no other thing I can do because I can't get through here without leveling him up, apparently. So I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video here. I'm just gonna get Kecnia to like level 20 or something, or lower than that, probably. Um, and then we can go back in there because I can't walk in there with just Kecnia, apparently. So yeah, be right back. Alright, so I got him to level 20. We should be good to go. I imagine the Clefairy will let you pass. Send exclamation mark instead. Right, let's go. All right, we have some decent moves now. Um, and we're level twenty, so I'd like to think that we we can handle like we can run away from these wild Pokemon at the very least now. It didn't take a long time to level them up, if I'm honest with you. But being level twenty should definitely help us get through any of this anything that's any of this random stuff. Um, we have our three Kuro shards, right? So we're heading to the Charizard now. So we need to head up north very quickly. If we can move any faster, and the Charizard is here. Looks like it's not in its right mind. I wonder what happened to it. You placed three Curasards on Charizard's head. God, what? Where am I? Who are you? Oh, was I standing around all day? Well, that's just plain unacceptable. I have so many things to do. All right, he's done. And there's a building. Are you serious? It's like I need to improve my mind control device. We have to battle. We have to battle. Oh! Wait, did I even use cut to get here? Please tell me I haven't been doing this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just hold on. I can't beat these guys. I don't think I used cut to get here, did I? I only needed cut to get to. Alright, we're sending our strongest Pokemon. Uh, which I want to believe would be Chief. Would it be Chief? If we have Grass Pokemon to fight, maybe it's Burb. Let's send Banshee. I think Banshee has the best um, chance out of them all. Do I have any berries? I don't. It's a shame. Alright, send him in. Let's go look at Volpix! I think this whole time I was meant to be using, I, I only needed to use the cut the one time maybe, I don't know. But now that I know it's because I walked all the way up here, I didn't even use cut. So, yeah, yeah, we don't need to use cut. I'm so stupid, I leveled up my Cacnea for no reason. We don't need to do the cut thing for the Butterfree um, shenanigans. Alright, here we go. How did our god let this lowly Pokemon pass? Looks like I need to improve my mind control device to make it flawless! Alright, this is it. This is this is it. Let's go, Volpix. Sign to someone 13 sent out a Kadabra. What level is it? It's 16. We're level 25. So we shouldn't have any trouble. And I honestly love the, the coverage we have because even when he sends out the coughing, we have Zen Headbutt, so. A dead Kadabra. Bye, Zs. Then we have a coughing. So Zen Headbutt, if it doesn't miss... Oh, I like that animation, that was cool. It flinched! Oh my goodness! Hell yeah! Get out of here, coughing! Get flinched! Oh my god, savage Banshee! Oh my goodness. Alright, no more Pokemon! No way! Oh, just needs... Woo! Okay. Bless me. Ah, another good test subject. Oh my goodness. These guys are savages. He's like, ah! His face. Number seven, so Okay. I'm gonna Willow Wisp you whilst you're still a ditto. Damn. Look at the, look at the, the burnt Vulpix. All right, let's faint attack you. Hopefully yours should do less than mine now because you're burned, right? 13! Jeez. Yeah, mine does a hot. Oh, it's a crit. I'm gonna Zed Headbutt. <laughs> I think it does more damage, and he's beating me in speed ties every time now. Can we not? And the burn kicker. I don't know what to do in terms of if we lose Volpix here. I have no healing items. I don't want to have to run back. Scientist number seven. I was trying to catch you and help you enhance your natural abilities. I'm scared. Is there any more trainers in here? 
Oh my god, what is that? Is that a Totodile? Yeah, no thanks. I don't want to talk to him. I'm not trying to fight. Oh my god, we have a fight a to- I'm out. There's no way we can beat a Totodile. I'm gonna go change the Flaffy real quick, because there's hell and there's no way. There's absolutely no way. If I, if I get Flaffy out, Flaffy can uh, dick him down, so... Just annoying because the walk. I would like- I would speed it up. I have my finger on the button right now. But at the same time, it, it, when it comes to Generation 2 games, the speed up button is so bad. Is it this way? It's this way, isn't it? I just wish we had a repel. Wait. No, I'm not going the right way. Damn it. It's this way. Uh. Alright, take me out. Alright, let's put, um, whoops, let's put your boy Chief in there. Let me heal him up real quick. I want to go in there with no health. Damn it! Healed the wrong Pokemon. There we go. Alright, Chief, it's you you're up, buddy. You're up, buddy. So good, Flappy. <laughs> the little sprites are so good. It makes me wonder why they didn't do this for the full game, but I have a funny feeling. Is it because the game is like. Did this, adding all the sprites and all this extra stuff, did it make the game, like, really big? So it was too big to fit on the old Game Boy cartridges in terms of file size? Because they could have done this. They could have they could have made individual sprites for everything. Or were they just being lazy? Who knows? I have no idea. Alright. Laffy is here. To take down the turtle dog. Can we not? I know I don't I haven't been- I can't escape! Because it has the ability! Oh my god, you can't be serious. Okay, okay, I don't normally speed up, but this is irritating. Come on, 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 come on. Alright, we're in. What's poppin', turtle? Wow, you made it! However, I'm not sure if I wanted to go want to go back to my own or not. She is just annoying. Wait, you made a brainwash Charizard? I won't take my chances, let's get out of here. Oh wait, I didn't have to I thought I had to fight it! Oh, I've missed you so much, my little Totodal. Thank you so much. Oh, if you want to battle me, then meet me at the gym back in Laurel City. Oh, so she's the gym leader. We just got the Pokemon from the gym leader. Oh, there are Pikachu here. That's, oh, so the Totodal is her Pokemon. But she said she's annoying. That's funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. I'm done with these encounters. Just let me out. We're done. We did that. That was a crazy bunch. I, I did wonder, and I did say, whoa, this is our whole bunch of crazy stuff. There's no crazy stuff we have to do. We just walk into this gym and do this. There's actually some story to it. The Totodile was the gym leader's Pokemon, which is kind of wild. Look at that. Wow, we have a level 20 Banshee. I freaking Cacnea for no reason. I leveled up for absolutely no reason whatsoever. But... Again, this is a new game. I'm still learning about it. But we can finally now head into the um, the gym now and actually take down the gym leader. So let's go buy some potions because I know we used a, a bunch. How many can I buy? Eight. <sighs> Give me money. I need to sell. I need to get, get some nuggets or something to sell. I'm skint as a bean. Let's cut this tree down. And was it fairy? But she had, to she had a totodile, so it can't be a fairy gym. It must be a water type gym. I have no idea. And goodness, you saved the totodile. I was getting a headache from her whining, and this does this job doesn't pay enough. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, let's leave a trigger just because I want to get some experience on him. Oh, she's right there. Battle with me, lucky you. It's like Whitney Sprite, pretty much. What do you have? A Jigglypuff, the bane of my existence. Apparently. Alright, what do we have? Nothing. Okay, let's go to... Burb. Just don't roll out. Oh, the fence curl, you son of a... Okay, hold on. If you think defense curl, let's go to Chief. There's no way I can touch this thing. There's the rollout! Here we go. Oh my god, okay. You need to die. You need to die. It's super effective for some reason. We'll take it. Just don't crit me. I don't know why it's super effective, but we'll take it. 
don't know, maybe fairy is weak to electric? I have no idea. They made it, or they made it fairy weak to electric, maybe. Agility? Uh, do I have like a pointless move I can get rid of for that? And they're never gonna like use, they're never gonna switch out, so I'll get rid of the suit. Da -da -da -da. So now our Rolts. I wanna get some experience and trigger, let's go to you. Look at his eyes! Traced effect sport. Okay, do not use a physical move. Noted. Noted. Let's go to let's go to your boy Banshee. Draining kiss. It doesn't have a space in it. That's funny. It couldn't fit the, the, the whole name the, the whole name in for the, for the move. I guess it's just Ember it because I can't. He's got effect spawn now, so if I if I fate attack, I might get paralyzed or some craziness. How are they landing? Sing. It's like a fifty-five percent move. I'm gonna speed this bit up because we don't have to wake up. There we go. Level 17. And then we have a toga tick, which uh, can be dealt with quite easily with chiefs. Let's go triggered. It's so big. Toga tick should not be that big. It gives me the full sense that it's massive. Look at it. Fat. This toga tick's fat, dude. I wonder if they put uh, toga kiss in this. Oh, static works, finally. Damn. Maybe it can't attack. Catch your thumb shot. Get out of here. Get out of here. So they're all they're all fairy type Pokemon. Well, that's annoying. Don't hate yourself. Don't do it. That's cool. Don't do it. Don't do it, Chief. Thank you. I could have screwed myself up right there. If we hurt ourselves in confusion, we could have completely ruined ourselves. Damn. See ya, Nicole! You burn this bridge forever! Alright, hold the phone. I'm super potion myself up. Alright, we should be good. Let's let's do this. Thank you for finding my sweet little Totodile. Later I'm going to put some makeup on it and make it look very pretty and hold it all day long. Oh, right, you want my badge? Well fine, let's do this. I'm Brooklyn, I'm I train fairy type Pokemon. They're just so adorable that I can't resist this type. Oh, okay, so she's fairy. Alright, Brooklyn. Brooklyn! Okay, okay. Jigglypuff. Not good. Not a good start. But we know Chief can handle this, so let's go to him. I use pound. Paralyze, 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 paralyze. Damn it. Alright. Super effective. For some reason. Damn. See, my static never pops when I need it to. Static never pops when I need it to. So Jigglypuff is taken care of. Boom. Goodbye. Trigger level 18. And the next Pokemon is a... Meryl. Which I kind of want to try and deal with, with Shroomish. What level is it? 22? We're four levels lower than it, but I know it can't take me down in one hit. So let's go ahead and... What's the... I can't take... I can't check move damage. Can I just raise Leaf it? Tail Whip. Okay, that's kind of concerning. Let's see how much Raise Leaf does. Oh my god, okay. Try again. Iron Tail! Bruh! Get another crit, get another crit, get another crit. Ah! Oh! So close. I wanted to take it down all by myself. I can't do I can't. Iron Tail will probably kill. Um, Shroomish. Oh, it missed again as well. Damn, I could've got some experience. So sad. Alright. Trigger getting experience. Ding, ding, ding. 25. Awesome. He was trying to learn Screech. Yo, I love the move Screech. That's such a good move. <sighs> okay, what do we have now? Wigglytuff. Okay, so that's definitely a threat. I'm not even gonna risk the switch in for this one. It's level 24. Nice defense coming, okay. Oh, don't roll out now. Oh my goodness, that would be such a terrible thing. Please do not do that. Okay, double slap. At least one of those has to paralyze you, right? No, okay. Okay, we're done. See, no, I'm glad I'm level 25. Look at that, it's level 24. I'm so glad we we, we, we grinded. I'm, I'm serious, that's ridiculous. Leader Brooklyn was defeated. Alright, alright, so you beat me fine. Take this piece of metal or whatever she said. 
So for some reason, the Charm Badge will let you use your Pokemon, or use, use Strength outside of battle. Also, since I'm such a little angel, I'll let you have this. Draining Kiss. Is that gonna be Draining Kiss? Uh, attract. Ew. Ew. Do not like that move. Thank you anyways, I guess. Alright. Wines. Toto has decided to join your party. Okay? Look at his face! He's like, ah, 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 ah. What am I named Totodar? Ah, oh, it wasn't ready for this. Ah, uh, I'm gonna call him Brock. After the, the PlayStation 1 game, if you've seen that game. Hell yeah. He just gave us a Totodar straight up. It's level 15 and it's holding a orange berry. Look at his little feet! It's got metal claw as well. Ah, I don't know what to do because I really want to use a Vaporeon. I don't know why I'm gonna get a Water Stone though. So I guess for the time being, we can run a Totodile on our team. Why not? I guess I'll add it to the party. Why not? Screw it. But uh, that was a very uh, eventful episode. We got all the crazy quest stuff done and um, returned the Totodile that we now have on our team. It was uh, definitely a bit of a cluster. A cluster mess but um if you have enjoyed regardless please do leave a like rating down below it is greatly appreciated it makes you a super awesome person i think i might get these guys up to level 20 actually no i'm, I'm not gonna no, I'm not, i think we should be good it'd be nice to grind some other pokemon for a change uh, but yeah like i said if you've enjoyed this episode please do leave a like rating down below please do consider doing so and if you've enjoyed the series so far please do consider subscribing as well it is very very much appreciated but uh, with that being said i'll see you guys next time